Imagine creating anything you want layer by layer with just the push of a button. This is the magic of 3D printing. But how did this revolutionary technology come into existence? Today, we're exploring the fascinating story behind the invention of 3D printing. 3D printing, also known as additive manufacturing, is a way to make three-dimensional objects from digital designs. Unlike traditional manufacturing, which cuts, molds or carves materials, 3D printing adds material layer by layer, slowly building an object from the ground up. Imagine it like stacking tiny slices of an object until it becomes complete. The story of 3D printing begins in 1983 with a man named Charles Chuck Hull. Hull was working for a company that made tough coatings for tables using ultraviolet light to harden liquid plastic. He had a light bulb moment. What if you could use this same technique to create objects layer by layer? In 1983, he developed the first 3D printing process known as stereolithography. Here's how it worked. A laser would trace the shape of an object onto a thin layer of liquid resin, hardening it in the process. Then, the machine would add another layer on top and harden that. Over time, these layers built up to create a full 3D object. This was the first time anyone could take a digital model and print it in the real world. And in 1986, Hull secured the patent for stereolithography and founded 3D Systems, the world's first 3D printing company. While stereolithography was a breakthrough, it wasn't the only method that would be developed. Over the next few years, new types of 3D printing technologies emerged. One of the most important was Fused Deposition Modeling, or FDM. In 1988, Scott Crump invented FDM, which is probably the type of 3D printing you're most familiar with today. FDM uses a heated nozzle to melt plastic filament, which is then laid down layer by layer to create a 3D object. This made 3D printing more accessible and affordable. Around the same time, another technology called Selective Laser Sintering, or SLS, was invented. Instead of liquid resin or melted plastic, SLS uses powdered materials like nylon or metal and a laser to melt the powder into a solid object. In the early 2000s, something exciting happened. 3D printing became more accessible to everyday people. The maker movement, a community of DIY creators and innovators, embraced 3D printing. In 2005, an open source 3D printer called RepRap was introduced which allowed anyone to build and customize their own 3D printer. This was a turning point. Suddenly, 3D printing wasn't just for big companies or scientists. It was for schools, small businesses, and even people at home. Desktop 3D printers became popular, allowing hobbyists to print anything from custom toys to phone cases and even tools. But 3D printing isn't just for hobbyists, it's revolutionizing industries worldwide. In healthcare, 3D printers are used to create custom prosthetics, dental implants, and even experimental 3D printed organs. In aerospace, companies like NASA are using 3D printing to manufacture tools and parts in space. And in the automotive and construction industries, 3D printing is helping to make stronger, lighter parts and even entire buildings. Imagine a future where houses can be printed in just a few days. One of the key advantages of 3D printing is that it's more environmentally friendly than many traditional manufacturing methods. Because it adds material layer by layer, it only uses what's needed, reducing waste. It's an efficient, sustainable technology that could help reduce the environmental impact of mass production. So what's next for 3D printing? The possibilities are almost endless. Researchers are already experimenting with bioprinting, printing human tissue for medical use. One day, we might be able to print fully functional organs for transplant patients. In construction, 3D printing could change how we build homes and cities. Imagine a future where 3D printed houses are affordable, sustainable, and available to everyone. 
And as we explore space, 3D printing might be the key to building habitats on the Moon or Mars. From its humble beginnings in 1983, 3D printing has evolved into a technology that's changing the way we live, work and create. Whether it's for printing prototypes, tools or even human tissue, the future of 3D printing is truly limitless. What would you 3D print if you had the chance? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more incredible stories of invention.